Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video overview, we're going to take a quick look at a free trial version of a software called Wondershare Recoverit Data Recovery Software. Using this software, you can use it to recover deleted files like your photos or your videos or your documents, email files, so on and so forth. You can have it scan your external hard drives, your removable media like your SD cards, your thumb drives, so on and so forth. So if you're in a situation where you just lost a critical file for whatever reason, this may give you hope to help recover those files and get back into business. So at the main website here, there's a lot of different features that goes over on what it can recover in terms of you know, documents and photos and videos and audios and emails. So there's a lot of different file formats that you can use to recover. And you can also use it to scan your hard drives as well. Um, SSDs or just your traditional hard drives to recover files that are you know deep and important to you. Um, some more features that you can use is you can filter on a specific file type that you want to recover. You can preview the files so you can select and choose which ones you want to recover. Um, and a lot of the other features that we'll showcase as we go through the video um, tutorial a little bit later in this segment. If you need some more advanced features, there's an advanced video recovery and a corrupted video repair for those video files that you need to recover and save. But in order to use the program, it's pretty simple. We'll showcase that a little bit later, but basically you select your drive, you scan that drive, and then you recover the files that is a result of the scanning process. Like I said previously, we're gonna try, trial out this free version that recovers up to 100 megabytes only. Afterwards, you're gonna to have to use one of these other versions, a paid versions, essential, standard, or advanced. And depending on your needs, these are the features that it will come with. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the software itself. So to help save some time, I've already installed the software. It's pretty simple. You just download it, install it, takes a few minutes, and you're good to go. So once you run the software, it's gonna look like this, boot up screen, and then it's gonna take you to the main homepage or launch pad of the Recovery software. And it's pretty simple and intuitive in terms of how to use it. So what we have here is you can select a location to start recovering the files. So let's say you had your hard drive, you can have it to scan your hard drives or SSDs, for example. In my particular case, I have an example USB that was just recently formatted of files. So we'll see how that works in terms of recovering it. Or you can select other locations like your recycle bin, your desktop, or select a folder specifically to recover uh, files from that folder. So I have my USB thumb drive that's connected. I'm gonna click on start and it's gonna start the scanning process. This is a thumb drive that have had miscellaneous PS2 related files. So if you guys are a follower of the channel or you don't know my channel, I do a lot of PS2 gaming kind of related tutorials. So this is a thumb drive. I just have a mix of just random game console stuff on it, so to speak. So we see that it's starting to scan and you can do two different ways of filtering it. You could do the file path method or you could do the file type and as it starts to scan the files, it will categorize them depending on its file type, you know, file extension. So as an example here, if I go into the folder and while still process of scanning, we can see that, you know, with the preview button here or preview screen, we can see what those pictures looks like. Or if I had a document here, for example, I see there's a text folder and there's some like readme files. So if I preview the files, okay, this is what it looks like, I see. So I've done some testing here. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the scanning because it's going to take a couple more minutes to scan. I sort of have an idea of what, what I need to recover. So I'm going to say stop here and we're going to stop it early. And what we're going to do is go ahead and find some files we want to recover. So let's say, for example, I was interested in like, you know, some picture files, for example. So I'm going to say, Okay, I want to recover this, and I'm gonna recover this, for example. And then what you wanna do is say recover. So when you click on recover, it's gonna say, okay, you can still recover, you know, um, 99 megabytes or so, you know, for the free version, this is how much I've selected. So as you continue to select more and more files, this free file version limit is gonna decrease and decrease until you can't recover anymore. And then you're gonna to have to basically figure out, do you want to get the standard version or advanced version if you so choose, depending on how important that data is for you. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on recover. And I'm gonna go to my C drive. I'm gonna go to my temp folder here. I'm gonna say recover. And then it's gonna recover two files successfully. And I go into the folder here and let's see what we got. 
and we have the two files that I just successfully recovered. We have this, and then we have this as well. So that is the program. Um, and you'll see this prompt here, so it's just a reminder of you can get a discount, which is pretty cool if that's something that you're interested in. And then what you do is click on X, and you can restart the program, and then rescan, and do what you need to do kind of thing. So that is a quick overview of the Wondershare Recovery it Data Recovery Software. I think it's a good tool to use if you have some files that somehow got deleted, you need to recover it in a pinch. This could be a good alternative for you to put in your, into your uh, toolbox, your bucket there. And then of course, if you like the software, you can go ahead and take a look at the other editions and um, get some more features and recover more files past the 100 megabytes uh, file limit there. If you guys have any other further questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.